Australian-based 33-year-old Zimbabwean woman Susan Mutami's former boyfriend at Loreto Mission School has chronicled his experiences with the socialite during their high school days. Mutami's ex-boyfriend from Guru is now based in Johannesburg, South Africa, running a college drug company. The 34-year-old man, short and dark in complexion, spoke to the news hawks on condition of anonymity for fear of retribution and for the sake of my peace. He claimed that he dated Mutami in 2004 when she was in Form 3 until she completed her O-level. That is the year she said she was raped by President Emerson and Gagwa. Said Mutami's former boyfriend, I first met Susan in 2004 when I was in Form 4, she was a stream behind us. We were in the same sports house group called Winter Halder. She was, a good 400 meters athlete and I was in the discus sporting discipline. She was very good in athletics, the 400 meters race, hence in 2003, we both reached provincial sports finals which were held at Chaplin High School in Guru. Mutami's high school lover said her erratic behavior when they were dating now makes sense since last week's allegations of rape and sexual abuse by Anne Gagwa. He said, when we were going out, her behavior was erratic. Sometimes she would become silent in the middle of a conversation like a person in deep thought and from nowhere she would start crying. I could not understand her at the time, it was strange, but after these allegations, she has made against some people it now makes sense to me. Again, towards the end of each school term when everyone was excited, to be going home for the holidays, she would have a completely different mood marked with sadness and anxiety. During those days, she would be very aggressive and we would break up often in our relationship. Sometimes we would break up twice in a week and make amends later. Days before the school holidays were the most difficult in our relationship. She at one time told me that we could not meet during holidays because she had a personal bodyguard who watched all her movements. During those days Mutami also told me that during the holidays she would be very busy because there was a farm she would go to work at in order to raise school fees. It did not make sense because our fees were so high that working at a farm for one month would not raise even a quarter of it. The ex-boyfriend claimed that he once accidentally bumped into Mutami in Redcliffe where Rangagua owns Redcliffe Hotel. He said, when I met her, in Redcliffe, she was so unsettled. She would look numerous times over her shoulder during the brief encounter. Besides, her language at school was also crude and immoral as she would claim that, in terms of sex, she had big boys who did the business on her. She was, living a double life. A happy life on her face, but inside you could feel that she was an emotional wreck and boiling. Now that she has exploded, I really understand why and hope she may get better. She was also one person who would not forget.